Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new deal of the day video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So of course, the very first thing I want to do is uh, I want to apologize for anyone who have lost money today because of the weekly analysis. As you know guys, today the market actually was going in a big chaos. Um, that was because actually of the, uh, the the news about the upcoming global lockdown due to the spread of the new strain of the COVID-19, which is, I think, is going to be the COVID-20. And I am really afraid that this is just an introduction to what uh, waiting for us in 2021. I hope it's not. But however, uh, sadly, the market went in a big chaos today. As you can see, uh, actually, most of the signals have failed except for gold. Uh, the gold is the only signal which is going right now in a big profit of 160 pips of profit but however the other pairs sadly didn't uh, really do well and I hope in the midweek analysis video we will fix that but I just want everyone to understand that what happened really was not my fault the analysis itself was correct but however the, the, the news about this global up, uh, upcoming lo uh, lockdown actually has changed everything since I have posted the weekly analysis video last Saturday so I really hope uh, you guys understand that and I hope no one have any hard feelings for what happened and again this is normal in Forex and we will do of course our best to recover now looking for the deal of the day actually the deal of the day is not gonna be literally deal of the day because i think it's gonna be active by tomorrow so let me look at the pound and zd actually what i found here on the pound and zd is quite interesting because what we can see right here is we're having this upper trend as you can see and that upper trend has been recently been breaking out from of course don't forget that i am right now on the daily chart so let's zoom in right now so on the daily candle, we can notice that here we can see that the major bearish breakout happened already and the pair has reversed from this level of 1.86010 and went all the way retesting the broken previous support trend line and right now it has become a new resistance trend line. That means that most likely the pound and ZD is going to continue the fall and we can expect from the pound and ZD to fall all the way at least, at least to that support level right here so we are looking for actually uh, almost 300 pips of profit i think it's going to continue the fall there however we have to look at the best level to start shorting the pound nzd so by looking at the four hour time frame now we can see right here we had this full bearish bar and this is actually a good indicating uh, sorry a good indicator for a continuation in the fall or of the, of the bearish uh, momentum Therefore, we need now to look after confirming the, uh, the from the price action that the, the pound and ZD is going to actually continue the fall. Now we need to look for the support and resistance to understand where actually we can start shorting the pair. Now, let's draw a resistance line right here. So we need to find the strongest support and resistance levels, of course. Now we can see that we have right here a previous resistance, which was also previously a support. However, I don't really think this is the right way to draw the lever right here. Uh, it is actually it is the right way but however i wanted to say that it's not really the right level to start shorting the pair because we are actually ignoring the support attempts right here so what i'm gonna do increasing the uh, line a little bit more just like that so by that i have actually included all of the support attempts before so it's most likely uh, right now the pound in the is facing a strong support right here on 1.8200 and most likely by tomorrow is going to continue the retest and it's going to finish the pullback before actually it's going to be good for the short and hopefully uh, we can start shorting the pound in ZD. Actually, the pound is going to fall in my opinion. Um, since that the new strain of the COVID-19 has been found or uh, discovered first in UK, in London, and I believe this is going to highly affect the pound. And from my, from my point of view, I think the pound is going to be good for the short for the upcoming days, if not weeks as well. So therefore, let's now go to the smaller time frame. Let's go to the one hour time frame. And let's just be sure that this is really the right level to start shorting the pair. By looking at the one hour time frame, we can see exactly this is where I want to draw my resistance line. And here exactly it also, it was previously a strong key support level. We can see the rejection was really strong on that level and the price kept rising and finally the bearish breakout happened right from that level therefore uh, pound and zd is going to be good for the short in my opinion so we can start sell the pair 
at 1.8914 and the stop loss is actually gonna be uh, let me just check just to be sure it's gonna be right here at above that resistance level right here so we can expect somehow for the pair to rise against our trade for another 53 pips i think we can increase it a little bit more just to be sure exactly notice that i have made actually no let me just make it a little bit higher notice that i have looked at the left to find another reason uh, another nearest resistance and i found this one right here so if the candle for any reason went against our direction it might go to that level again before continuing the fall that's the reason i did not select my stop loss to be right here because i don't want to put my stop loss in a level where i'm expecting from the pair to re to, to reverse so the stop loss is going to be exactly after 62 pips which is really fair enough so the stop loss is going to be 1.89523 uh, let me just be sure again 1.89523 correct and the take profit, as I said before, is going to be, oh, shit, hold on, 88914. Uh, okay, we'll fix it later. So the take profit level is going to be exactly right here, the previous support level. So hopefully if this trade went well, we are looking for almost 246 pips of profit. Really, hopefully we will make them all. So take profit is going to be 1.86417. There goes your deal of the day. I really hope it's going to be a very good deal. And guys, please, please, always remember, you are responsible for your funds. These deals are just my opinion, my advice. You are not forced to take this one. Please don't blame me for any losses happening. Actually, okay, no need. I will not mention that. However, uh, please uh, uh, be wise about your funds. And always remember, just because the signal came from Extreme Trader doesn't mean at all that is guaranteed profit the losses are uh, predictable uh, possible uh, especially with this time of the market and we are entering the season of the christmas and the holidays so the market actually might be re really hard to predict and therefore please be wise and careful when you are trading don't put all of your eggs in one basket don't put all your, your funds in one trade don't double your losses always prepared if you lose this trade you can move to the next one and recover Always keep that in your mind. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.